Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh Bashem Shai. My double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone GMS. These are the men that taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Yahweh is the true name of the Most High God of Israel. Yahweh Shai is the true name of his only begotten Son, our Redeemer and Savior, the one whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, Yeshua. Christ and other names of Rukaku Dash is the Holy Spirit that gives us the full understanding of this truth, which is a gift from our Savior Yahweh Shai. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, pushing his gospel in all sincerity in his last days. Shalom also to the few sisters Aquat who are sincerely seeking his truth. It's the brother Yarayala Yashat Allah from the GMS Italy camp. And I just wanted to do this quick lesson. Hopefully, it's going to be edifying to the spirit and power of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai. Now, I've been going through certain situation, or better yet, I've been making some observations, you know, at my place of plantation. Now, in my place of plantation, I observed that, you know, people are really unstable. People are worried. You know, it's a battle. It's a continuous battle. You know, people are trying to, you know, save their positions at work by all means. It doesn't matter anyhow they save their positions at work. It doesn't matter if they slander the next man. It doesn't matter if they, if they, if they lie on someone else. It does nothing matters. You know, it's all about them saving their jobs. It doesn't matter if they're demons onto you. It doesn't matter if they show their horns. It's all about saving their jobs. And, you know, this is a situation created by Esau. You know, through the spirit and power of the Most High Yahweh Bashim Shai, definitely. In which Esau is nothing without the Most High Yahweh Bashim Shai. The Most High Yahweh Bashim Shai makes him do all that he does. But in his foolishness, he thinks he's that, he's that wise and is the one, you know, running the whole thing. So what Esau does is Esau puts heads against heads, you know, and that's a way he's been he's been able to 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 manipulate and continue his reign on the minds of Jakes. It's called division, uh, divide and conquer, you know. That's the technique the so-called white man uses. So at the plantation, I see there is a lot of slander. Why? Because people. Are scared to lose their jobs you know they're doing they, they don't care what means they maintain their jobs they don't care what means they they show and prove to their to their to their bosses that you know they have to maintain their jobs even at the cost of slandering someone else you know so for those of us that are in this truth definitely some of us many of us are going to be going through this same situation and this is a lesson for you because, hey, as it as is written on the screen, as you can see, Yahweh is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do unto me? If the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai is on your side, hey, just trust me that there is nothing that can that any man can do. If the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai puts you in a job place, you know, and he wants you to be there. There is nothing man can do to take you out of that place. And if you're taken out of that place, it's definitely because the Most High Yahweh Bashim Shai decides to let you go. Because everything is run by man. It doesn't matter what, you know, it may, it may look like the, the wicked is winning and all that thing. But it's all designed by the Most High Yahweh Bashim Shai. And in the last lesson I did, I was explaining how the game is rigged. You know, because it's there. There is no, there is no free will, man. You know, this is one thing you need. You really need to get rid from your mind, and it's one lie that's been taught in various churches, like the the churches of the Mormon, the, the Latter Day Saints. You know, they speak a lot about free will. There is no free will. The Most High governs the hearts of men. Okay, we've done various lessons on this, and if you need extra edification on it, you can just drop a comment. So as I was saying, if the Most High Yahweh Bashim Shai is with you, there is nothing that can befall you. And now in this time and days that we know that we're living, we are living actually at the last seconds of the rulership of the so-called white man Esau Edom. You know, 
um the earth has has gotten to the maximum maximum of its wickedness that it can it can get to you know the the world is is at this present moment is even more wicked than the, the sodomites and the, and the gomorrahites you know if i if that's a way of saying it it's more wicked than some of sodom and gomorrah and judgment is about to be pushed hard on this place so for those who are following this truth you really don't need to bother yourself about anything because if this is faith man you know the most high yabashim yashai and his nature by reading and studying the scriptures so reading and studying the scriptures you know you can't worship the most high yabashim yashai without faith without faith if you have faith in the most high yabashim yashai there is nothing that can befall you. So you see, this is where we prepare our minds. At your job place, someone might be trying to slander you to make you look like you're not you're not doing the right thing at job so you can get your position. Someone might be jealous at you because, you know, maybe he sees you like a threat, you know. All these things happen. And it happens to those who don't have a, a solid foundation on where to put their trust on. But the sons of the Most High, Yabashim Yahushai, those who are sincerely seeking the Most High, they don't really care about those jobs, man. Any job you get at this time, you know, you give, you give all praises to the Most High, Yabashim Yahushai. It's just to keep you going, to feed you. But our hearts are set on a kingdom that's about to come. A kingdom in which we don't need to labor and work for another man. At the highest, we labor and work for our power, Yabashim Yahushai, you know. And it's all going to be on a different level because we that we are the, we're the least in this society today, we're the slaves, you know, we're the ones doing the most dirty jobs. A time is coming in which we're going to be put in position, you know, the position of kings, rulers. So, hey, this is what it is. In whichever situation you find yourself, don't be afraid. The most I hear how Bashim Shai got your back, you know. And the spirit actually led me yesterday the lesson i did was speaking i also spoke about faith man because this is the faith we really need to you know strengthen up our faith this time because now the one thing that's going to keep us pushing in these perilous times that we're going in through in which i'm just going to show you a few a few articles as you can see there's a lot of wickedness going on man as you can see here, Russia preparing for big colossal war with NATO, says Major General. You know, these are prophecies coming to pass. And Russia is definitely going to destroy this United States, which is Babylon the Great. Here it says, as Paul dries up, Italy's food and energy supplies are at risk. This is Italy, man. I live here in Italy and I can tell you they start rationing water in certain places in Italy. Because, you know, we've, we're seeing something that I've, we've never seen, a draft. You know, waters are running dry. We have regions fighting against another region for water supply because we're running out of water. And these are part of the plagues that are meant to happen. But you see, the Most High Yahweh Bashim Yahushai has given us different promises. Those who truly follow him, those who truly love him, keep to his commandments to the best of their abilities. We are not going to catch any of this hell. You know, some of our brothers are definitely going to try catch some of this L and it's all part of a trial to test you more. And if you hold strong, then you would see the grace of the Most High Yahweh Shemi Shai. You see his power is going to reveal himself to you because you see the trials is a huge part of the faith. Now here he says, Iran, Iranian instructions facing food food shortages as price prices skyrocket you know and this is not only in iran it's also here in italy it's all over europe you know people are going by their summer whatever summer craziness they don't know what's going on but you know we actually at that time the plagues have been unleashed little by little this is another article that says shock report reveals food prices could go up 15 percent over the summer squeezing family finances further you know who is going to save you at this time that we're about to step into 
all hell is about to break loose. But those who trust in the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai, they're going to be unshaken. You know, they don't really care because they know the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai is going to take care of them. There's here is another one. It says humans will be implanted with 6G potato CHIPs by 2020. Says Nokia CEO. When we have certain false prophets say that it's June, ain't no CHIP. You know, so you see, these prophecies are coming to pass. The Most I, you know, though it takes time, some of his prophecies might look like it's taking time. It's all a prophet. Um, it's all a process. Just believe that these prophecies are going to come to life at their right time. So you see, these prophecies are coming to life, and certain people. This is the question that actually weakens them. This is the book of Psalm. Excuse me. Can this is the book of Psalm 94, verse 16. It says, Who will raise up for me against the evil doers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquities? So you see, those who don't have the most high Yahweh Shemi or Shai don't have an answer to this question. But those who sincerely follow the most high Yahweh Shemi or Shai in all sincerity, who have the fullness of this truth. You know, this question, they have the answer. And the only person that can save you in these times from your enemies is the Most High Yahweh Shemi Al Shai. These are the true names. You can call a million times, you know, um, the fake names, just like the, the fake prophets of Baal during the time of Elijah were calling on the names of their, of their, of their deities, of their gods to send down fire on their sacrifice and nothing, nothing happened, you know nothing is going to happen the only name you can call on and you receive help is the most high yahawa in the name of his son yahweh shai which is the key you know the the passageway the door to the father so you see but we that we're in this truth that we sincere about this truth we know that in those days when these evil doers are going to stand against us even at our workplaces just like i said you know because people are really struggling trying to you know get their their places confirmed that work wickedness is growing more people's hearts are beginning to wax cold you know they only care about their positions at jobs they don't care if they slander you they don't care whatever they do to you but it's all good man if the most high is with you there is nothing any man can do against you just like the book of romans chapter 8 and verse 31 it says what shall we then say to these things if the most high yahweh shemi al shai be for us who can be against us and the answer is nobody if the most high yahweh shemi al shai be for you forget about anything that happens there is no one can, that can come against you because they that are with you around you the angels that encompass you are stronger than the angels are stronger than you know uh the, the enemies that are coming against you you know remember that the angels of the most high are, are a million and a million men uncountable that's why he's known as the as the god of hosts okay now this is the book of second kings chapter 6 verse 16 this is elisha speaking elijah speaking to elisha he says and he answers and he answered Oh, sorry, this is Elisha. And he answered, Fear not, for they that be with us are more than they that be with them. And Elisha prayed and said, Yahweh, I pray thee, open his eyes that he may see. And Yahweh Bashim Yahushai opened the eyes of the young man and he saw. And behold, the mountains were full of horses and chariots of fire round about Elisha. So this is, you know, we are actually living in our canal kind of minds right now you know but it takes the the, the full spirit of the most high yahweh shimei Shai to give you that feeling that understanding that you know the angels encompass around you and there is no weapon fashion against you that's going to prosper now this is the book of um psalm 34 and 7 it says 
the angels of Yahweh Shemuel Shai encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. So you see, in, in order to get access to this power, it all starts by fear of the Most High Yahweh Shemuel Shai. And how do you learn to fear the Most High Yahweh Shemuel Shai? By studying his words, by praying sincerely and humbly to him to open your eyes to receive this truth, as written in the book of um, James 1 5. You know, the Most High, when you start fearing him, you know, he, he reveals himself to you in different ways. The only first way is giving you the understanding of this truth. So you see, the Most High, Yahweh Shem Shai, sends his angels to protect those who fear him and do his will. Now, this is the, always the book of Psalms, chapter 118, the one that was on the screen. 118 and verse 6. It says, Yahweh is on my side. I will not fear what can man do unto me. And the answer is nothing. There is nothing man can do against you when the Most High Yahweh, but Hashem Yahushai is, is with you. Even at your job places, you know, many people might get sacked, you know, because they don't receive the MOTB and the most time I decide to keep you, keep you going, man, you know. So you see, once the most high Yahweh Shem Shai is with you, there is nothing that people can do. They can slander, they can say all different kinds of lies against you. They can try their best to get you sacked because you seem like a threat to them, you know. But once the Most High Yahweh Shemuel Shai is with you, there is nothing that these people can do. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 8 and verse 10. It says, Take counsel together and it shall come to north. Speak the word and it shall not stand. It says, Take counsel together. Oh, what's this? It says, Take it says, take counsel together and it shall not and it shall come to north. Speak the word and it shall not stand, for Yahweh Bashem Shai is with us. So you see, when Yahweh Bashem Shai is with us, there is no counsel that can stand against us. There is no nothing that can stand against us. It doesn't matter, they can slander, they can do all different kinds of things. But if the most high Yahweh Bashem Shai is with you, be sure there is nothing that can happen to you. The Most High Yahweh Shem Yahushite says that that place of your job, you're going to stay, you're going to be there. Hey, there is no slander your colleagues can do against you. There is nothing wicked that, that, that your enemies can do against you to get you losing that job. It's all being decided by the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahushite. Now, I'll pick up one last scripture and I'll close this lesson. This is the book of Isaiah 41 verse 10. It says, Fear not thou. For I am with thee, be not dismayed. For I am thy power, I will strengthen thee. Yeah, I will help thee. Yeah, I will, up, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. So you see, so this is a promise being given to us by the Most High Yahweh Shemuel Shai. We are only left to do our own part. And in order to tap into this power, you definitely are going to be tested. And that's where faith comes in. Remember always the story of Job. Job was tested. He was brought low, but he never gave up. You know, he kept trusting in the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai. And what was his later end? It was greater than his beginning. So hopefully this lesson was edifying through the spirit and power of the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai. I'd like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai. A double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And on to the next one, Shalom.